So now we are going to discuss about the second moment of area or area of moment of inertia. Now we are going to calculate the moment of inertia of the given section, right? So let us discuss a simple problem. A figure shows a T section of dimension 10 into 10 into 2 centimeter determine the moment of inertia of the section about the horizontal axis horizontal axis which means x x axis and the vertical axis which means y y axis passing through the center of gravity of the section right so first we have to calculate the cg center of gravity determine the mass moment of inertia of the section about the horizontal and vertical axis so mass moment of inertia of the section which is equal to i g plus a h square this is the formula for parallel axis theorem so let us discuss first we have to calculate the center of gravity then we need to calculate the moment of inertia of the given section so the given section is symmetrical about the y y axis so this section is symmetrical about this y vertical axis y y axis right so we need to calculate y bar right so first we have to find the y bar right then moment of inertia right so now let us discuss one by one so the given section is divided into two sections one is a b c d first rectangle the second one is g e f g h right so a b c d this is first rectangle and e f g h this is second rectangle right so y bar what is the formula already we discussed so a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by so a1 plus a2 sum of the areas right so we need to calculate a1 area of this first triangle right this is a1 and area of this second triangle a2 right so a1 which is equal to l into b right so l into b length which is equal to 10 centimeter and breadth which is equal to i mean depth which is equal to 2 centimeter so 10 into 2 which is equal to 20 centimeter squared area we calculated now what is y so y which is equal to y y1 this is the section 1 that's why this is called as y1 y1 which is equal to the distance of center of gravity of the area from the bottom line so from from the x axis this is the axis x axis and this is y axis right so this is y axis and this is x axis so we need to calculate the distance between the y axis and the center of gravity of this so cg is lying on this section at center right so 2 divided by 1 so distance between cg and this which is equal to 1 centimeter right so y1 which is equal to so up to this what is the value so 10 minus 2 which is equal to 8 so from bottom line x to the a this line so up to the second section right so which is 8 centimeter plus the center of gravity center of gravity of this section 1 which is 1 centimeter right so 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 centimeter right similarly we need to calculate area 2 area 2 which is equal to what is the formula l into b so this is 8 centimeter height and 2 centimeter breadth so 8 into 2 which is equal to 16 centimeter then y2 we need to calculate what is the formula the center of gravity of this rectangle so center of gravity is in between in, in middle right so this is center of gravity and what is the distance so the total height of this area the section 2 which is equal to 8 centimeter so 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4 centimeter so 4 centimeter right now find y bar so use this equation substitute the value of area 1 and y1 a2 y2 and sum of areas so then we got y bar 6.777 centimeter right now we have to apply the parallel axis theorem right so in order to calculate the moment of inertia of the given section so we are going to apply the parallel axis theorem parallel axis theorem which is equal to the 
a moment of inertia which is equal to ig plus ah square this is total moment of inertia of the given section and this is the you know, moment of inertia of the areas i mean the sections section 1 and section 2 right this is area of section 1 on the area of section 2 whatever it may be then this is um, uh, h which is equal to the distance between the cg of the rectangle i mean the distance between the center of gravity of the given section and the center of gravity of the rectangle one the center of gravity of the distance between center of gravity which is equal to y bar and minus if you want to take section one then minus y one or if you want to take section two then minus y two right so first we need to calculate actually the moment of inertia of the given area about x x axis right so x x axis what is the formula for moment of inertia i g with respect to x x axis right for the given which is equal to what is the formula b d cube divided by 12 this is the formula right i g moment of inertia with respect to x x axis so b d cube divided by 12 so we need here we have two sections 1 and 2 so we need to calculate 1 and Two, right? One and two separately. I G one, which is equal to B D cube divided by twelve. So, what is the formula for first area B, which is equal to breadth ten centimeter and depth, which is equal to two centimeter, right? So, here ten into two cube divided by twelve, right? So, substitute the values B D cube by twelve, B, which is equal to ten, and D, which is equal to two. Then, what is what is the value we got? Six point six seven centimeter cube. Right, and similarly, we need to calculate I G two with respect to x axis axis for section two, which is equal to the same B D cube divided by twelve. Then substitute the value B, which is equal to two centimeter breadth and depth, which is equal to eight centimeter. Right, right. Then we got finally eighty five point three three centimeter cube. Right. So now I a b which is equal to i g 1 plus a a 1 h 1 squared right this is for 1 and similarly b 2 which is equal to i g 2 plus a 2 h 2 squared right this is with respect to x x axis then finally sum of these two will get the moment of inertia of the given area about x x axis right so i g 1 we calculated i g 2 we calculated then area we know that area 2 we know that then we need to calculate h h 1 which is equal to what h 1 which is equal to h 1 which is equal to the distance between the center of gravity of the given section and the center of gravity of the rectangle 1 if you want to calculate h 1 right so y bar which is equal to 6.77 centimeter which is the center of gravity of the given section and y1 which is equal to the center of gravity of the cg right so the so the subtract these two things then we got 2.23 centimeter here we need to take only the difference right so y1 we know that which is equal to 9 centimeter and y bar which is equal to 6.777 centimeter then difference of these two which is equal to 2.23 centimeter this is for h1 similarly for h2 right so y2 minus y1 so which one is greater value that will come to the first place right so which is equal to 2.77 centimeter then substitute the values right substitute the values finally i a b1 which is equal to 106.128 centimeter power 4 and similarly i b2 which is equal to this two so sum of these two which is equal to 314.221 centimeter 4 right so this is how we have to calculate right for moment of inertia of the any section right so this is for horizontal axis and similarly for uh, y axis the moment of inertia of vertical axis because in the given problem they asked x axis and y axis right so the similar uh, way uh, I A B which is equal to I G plus A H squared right this is the parallel axis theorem. So, I G with respect to x x axis which is, which is equal to B D cube divided by 12 whereas for I G with respect to y y axis which is equal to D 
b cube divided by 12 for rectangle this is also for rectangle so rectangle moment of inertia of the rectangle with respect to x x axis which is equal to b d cube divided by 12 whereas for moment of inertia of the rectangle with respect to y y axis which is equal to d b cube divided by 12 right so d which is equal to 2 for section 1 and breadth which is equal to 10 so we got 166.66 and similarly for i y 2 which is equal to the similar formula and we got 5.33 right. So, here we no need to calculate x bar because the given section t which is symmetric with respect to y axis right. So, x bar which is equal to the distance between the y axis and the center of gravity. So, there is no change all the values are same. So, this term became 0 for about y y axis. So, we need to calculate only i g using this formula right. So, we calculated sum of these two which is equal to 1.172 centimeter power 4 right. So, this is the symmetric about y axis. Now, we are going to calculate one more problem. We are going to solve one more problem with unsymmetric Section. Find the moment of inertia about the centroidal x x and y y axis of the angle section shown in figure. So, this is the L section. So, we have to divide the section into two. This is first rectangle and this is second rectangle, right. So, I will give the name A B C D. This is first rectangle, C E F G. This is second rectangle, right. So, first we need to calculate. I mean we have to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to x x axis and with respect to y y axis right. So, for rectangle with respect to i x x axis which is equal to b d cube divided by 12 and for i y y axis which is equal to d b cube divided by 12. The parallel axis theorem we know that right. So, i a b which is equal to i g plus a h squared right. Now, now, we need to calculate the center of gravity because the given section is not symmetric about x x axis and y y axis. So, we need to calculate x bar and y bar right. So, for that, so x bar we know the formula. So, x bar which is equal to x 1 a 1 plus x 2 a 2 divided by sum of a 1 a 2. Similarly, for y bar which is equal to y 1 a 1 plus y 2 a 2 divided by sum of a 1 plus a 2 right. Now, we need to calculate area a 1 for the section 1 which is equal to 10 into 20 which is equal to 2000 mm, mm square and what about a 2 a 2 for area for rectangle 2 or section 2 which is 60 into 2 which is equal to 1200 mm square right. So, then y 1 which is equal to the center of gravity for section 1 with respect to x axis. So, what is the center of gravity 100? So, here which is equal to 50 100 divided by 2 50 right. So, the distance which is equal to 50. So, 50 mm is there. What about y 2? The center of gravity of section 2 with respect to y x axis. So, 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10 right. Now, this is y bar actually uh, yes y bar. Now, so i g now, we have to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to x x axis. We know the formula i x x which is equal to b d cube by 12 and we need to calculate for section 1 and section 2. Section 1 b which is equal to 20 and depth which is equal to 100 since substitute the value which is equal to 1.667 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4. This is for area I mean section 1 and i g 2 this is for section 2 apply the same formula b d cube divided by 12 b which is equal to 60 and d which is equal to 20 divided by 2 then we got finally 0.04 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4. Now, the distance of center of gravity of the rectangle from x axis x x axis right. So, y minus y minus y, one, y 1 minus y bar or y bar minus y 1. So, which one is greater that will come into the first place right. So, here y which is equal to 50 and y bar which is equal to 35. So, 50 minus 35 which is equal to 15 mm that is first section whereas for 
second section we will discuss in our next slide right so now moment of inertia of the section 1 which is equal to ig1 plus a1 h1 squared so ig1 which is equal to 1.667 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4 plus area which is equal to 2000 mm squared plus a1 which is equal to 15 squared right substitute the values then finally we got 2.117 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4 this is for moment of inertia of section 1 and similarly for section 2 which is equal to h2 we need to calculate x uh, y bar which is equal to 35 minus y2 which is equal to 10 so subtract this which is 25 then same formula substitute ig square ig2 plus area 2 and h2 25 then we got 0 0.79 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4 then sum of this moment of inertia section 2 moment of inertia section 1 and we got the moment of inertia with respect to i x x which is equal to 2.907 in return to the power of 6 m m power 4. Now, we need to calculate moment of inertia about y y axis right. So, for that we need to calculate x bar because h 1 which is equal to x bar minus x 1 similarly h 2 which is equal to x bar minus x 2 or x 2 minus x bar right. So, which one is greater value that will come in the first place right. So, now we need to calculate x bar a 1 we know that. So, x 1 which is equal to we know that x 1 which is equal to for, for uh, section 1. So, from y axis what is the center of gravity? Center of gravity lying in in center. So, 20 divided by 2 which is equal to x 1 which is equal to x 1 which is equal to 10 m mm, right. So, what about x 2? x 2 which is equal to add this 20 plus 60 uh, 60 divided by 2 which is equal to what 30. So, 50 x 2 which is equal to 50 mm right. Now, follow the same procedure and now this is for y y axis then what is the formula d b cube divided by 12 right. Substitute the value d b cube divided by 12 right. Now, we got 0 0.06 7 in 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4 this is for the moment of inertia of y y axis for section 1 similarly for section 2 and yes see 10 mm and 50 mm right. Then moment of inertia with respect to moment of inertia with respect to this is this is for y y axis moment of inertia with respect to y y axis for section 1 which is equal to 0 0.51 into 10 to the power of 6. Similarly, for section 2 which is equal to 1.11 in 10 to the power of 6 right this is y y and sum of these two which is equal to 1.627 into 10 to the power of 6 mm power 4 right. Thank you.